What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phase 6, your source for music, business, motivation, and support. It's your boy, Sir Love, and I got another dope episode of Ask Sir Love. We're going to jump into this particular episode. I'm going to answer some questions. If you want me to answer your question, then leave a question in the comment, right? That's how simple that is, right? So what am I looking at today? All right, here's one of the questions. I did a video, um, and this was on the Chasing Greatness podcast, this particular show. On the Chasing Greatness podcast, people get to call in and get to actually talk to me and get to talk through things. If you haven't seen this particular episode, you should check it out. All right, but on there, someone was asking me about PR. Is a publicist worth it? You know, how, how to go about acquiring one, things of that nature. And I was having this candid conversation for probably about 20 minutes, and we talked about it. However, KC reached out to me and asked me a question. KC says, but how to find how to find them PR companies? Is there any website for that? So how do I find them? Is there a collective website where everyone has done the work for me? Is what people want to know. And this is something that everyone always wants to know. Can someone go out and do the work for me to make my job easier? Um, and I'm not personally aware of a site that keeps you know PR companies up to date. There probably is one. But me personally, that's not how I've gone about finding publicists. Now, I'm going to do two things for you in this video. Number one, I'm going to walk you through how I personally do it and how I personally meet publicists and get the opportunity to work with great publicists that are established, right? Then number two, I'm going to tell you how you could go about doing it online if you had none of the means that I have that I'm going to go through, all right? So here we go. Number one, the way to find anybody in the music business is to search where they work, right? To be where they work. All right. So if you think about social media people, I'm mean, not social media people, think about publicists, they have to be involved in media, right? Media relations is a big part of a PR firm, right? And media today is often social. So they are on Twitter, they're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, they're on LinkedIn, they're on these places. All right. The best way to find them, though, is not necessarily to just go search PR and Instagram, but you will find a lot of them if you do that. The best way to do it, honestly, is to follow the types of acts right, that you're interested in, acts that you feel that your career is going down that particular pathway. So if your goal is to be this in superstar artist, trace back every artist that you would think would be similar on that pathway all the way down to the, you know, to where you are today and follow all those artists. All right. So if you're if you're, you know, a super fan of Beyonce, right, then you have Beyonce, you probably have a uh, you know, you probably have your Megan Thee Stallions, your Cardi B's, probably not a good example, but you, you have different artists that are not at her level yet, but are doing pop music. You know, the hip hop artists that do a lot of pop records, right? And then you have, you know, you have your Summer Walker, you have, you have all these different artists on the way down, right? Um, follow all of them up the chain, all right? Number one. And when you follow them, start paying attention to who throws their events, right? Because the publicist is the person that's throwing the event. Start following the business people that, that they follow, right? And what will start happening is your Instagram feed will stop looking like whatever it's currently looking like. And it'll start looking like, hey, come to this event. They never show the address or put the location there. But publicists always post events because they're promoting and marketing their clients. So you'll find out when events are happening, when, when it's going down, right? When 21 Savage just had his huge birthday party, I knew all about it because I follow all the publicists that represent 21 Savage and work in that particular space, right? And I knew where, where things were happening, who was doing what. And it's because I I follow the publicist and I find them by paying attention to who's posting events on an artist's behalf. All right. That is the best way to find them, in my personal opinion, because you can actually find the type of publicist that you're looking for. There are publicists that specialize in different genres. There are publicists that specialize in specific things, right? You have event publicists and you have publicists that are better at media. You have publicists that actually will help you with radio, like pluggers. Like there's different types of publicists. I talk about all of that in the video uh, that this question is from. Now, if you don't want to do that, right, here's another way to do it. Look at the screen here, okay? So I did a search. I typed in, you said, is there a list? I found this site. I just said, Google, you know, top PR. This company came up. Organic Marketing out right here in Atlanta. I know them, been to their offices. You know, they, it's more marketing than, than PR, right? I was looking for PR companies. I've, I've heard of, of uh AW group before, um, you know, some of these companies I've never heard of or I've never personally worked with, but here's a, a random site of, of, of PR companies, right? 10bestpr.com. And typically these sites, uh, they either 
are trying to stay to date, uh, stay up to date and do the right thing. You see it says it was updated in October 2019. Uh, but a lot of these sites, sites like this, you know, people pay to be on these types of sites. So it's a marketing, you know, tool. I was clicking around on Google and found a whole bunch of random sites, right? Um, but this is what would be the best way. This is how I do all things when I'm searching for anything. If I want to find a publicist, I'm going to go to where they are, right? So Billboard. I want to say Billboard has already vetted out publicists. They do articles about publicists, they do articles about people changing jobs and moving around. So I put Billboard in quotations, and I, this is supposed to be a quotation, but I put it in, uh, if you put it in quotations and type in PR, it automat Google will automatically filter out any article that Billboard did that has the word PR in it. And so now I can start finding PR people, right? I clicked on this particular link and it took me here. And here are four women that are in the Latin market that are PR people. And I can go on online on Instagram and I can follow them, right? And PR people follow other PR people because they all have to stay in the know. This is the media. So if I'm following them, I am going to run across other people that they follow. It gives me suggestions, right? When anytime you follow someone, they give you suggestions. Would you also like to follow this person and that person? You'll start going down a web, a, a rabbit hole of PR agents, right? And it's not just billboards. You can do it for billboard. Check this out. I can go to Fader. And when I realized that they were confused with what I meant, so I clarify Fader Magazine. And then as I scroll down, you start seeing, you know, articles and things that have been written, right? Who are we? Cornerstone Agency. Fader did, you know, some type of report on Cornerstone Agency, right? Or Cornerstone Agency, in this instance, talked about Fader Magazine. But Cornerstone Agency is apparently an agency, right? And you can scroll down and you just keep looking. You can go down multiple pages and see if you can find who you're looking for, whether it's Fader Magazine, whether it's Rolling Stone, right? And you can change it. Public relations, PR, uh, media relations. You can change the way that you represent it and bring this up, all right? This is one way to find them, okay? And the idea of this is you're finding people that have had articles written about them. And then as you follow them, you can start following more and more and more publicists. All you really need is a couple leads. You start following three or four or five publicists, the algorithm will automatically start referring other publicists to you. And this is how you can start finding them. Right now, I follow probably eight or nine different publicists. Most of them are in the Atlanta area where I am, right? Um, I also follow a couple out of New York, a couple out of LA, but the large majority of them are right here in Atlanta and I have relationships with some of them, right? So uh, that's how you go about finding them to answer your question. How do I find PR companies? Is there a website for that? Again, I just showed you Google search. I told you about using Instagram. They are definitely on Twitter. People in PR love Twitter because people in PR, their job is to caption, right? They, they, they write copy. That's what they do for a living. So they love Twitter because they can easily get on there, say what they want to say, do what they want to do. So they're really on Twitter as well. So I hope this was helpful. Remember, I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little, a little bit about a lot. I'm always trying to give you guys everything that I got right here on phase six. Like, subscribe. Follow, get this free game, soak it up. And I have a question for you guys. How many of you, before we leave, how many of you have had good experiences with publicists? I would love to see you guys submit in the comments great experiences that you may have had with publicists and others negative experiences that you have had with publicists because I do think it's a great group conversation for us all to start talking about publicity and best practices. It plays a crucial role. You can learn more about it in the video that sparked all of this right here, um, but uh, it plays a crucial role. Let's talk about your experiences and let's see if we can help other people have better experiences. I'm Sir Love. I don't know everything, but I know a lot about a little, a little bit about a lot. Give you guys everything I got right here on phase six. Beam in, stay on point. I'm out.